Take a moment to consider what disturbs a soil and soil microbiology. What kind of actions may in fact be changing the types of microbes that you have underneath the soil? So actions such as cultivation, machinery, even human traffic just walking across a landscape, those are disturbing events. What's happening with uh, water management, water logging, compaction? Are you using things such as soluble fertilizers, herbicides, fungicides, pesticides? All of these will be disturbing your underground workforce. If you're growing grasses in a monocultural environment, that too actually creates some kind of disturbance on the type of microbiology under the ground. So if we were to look at a soil comparing a disturbed soil environment to a healthy soil, you may have as little as 5,000 species in that teaspoon of soil when it's disturbed, but in a healthy environment, you may have as many as 25,000 species. And what I mean by species is they are as distinct as elephant is from fox from whale, but we're talking about microbiology, right? So that might be different types of protozoa, nematodes that are hugely beneficial. So you may have 25,000 species of beneficials in that teaspoon, and that's about the equivalent of 10 human bodies underneath that ground working away and helping to support your enterprise. So I want you to start thinking about this underground workforce as being highly beneficial in terms of what they're providing to you. So they're holding on to and then releasing nutrients. They're holding on to and releasing water. They are who build soil structure. You don't buy structure in a bag, and I know many of you will be aerating and putting products down to try and encourage structure building, but really it's microbiology that are doing this. They're gonna to help to protect your um, plants against pests and diseases. They are helping to decompose and detoxify those soils if there has been latent chemical use or there is organic material that needs to break down. And they are what are providing a buffer to a changeable climate. Now it's microbiology that are really providing these critical services. And if they've been compromised, then you're gonna to have to pay for those services for yourself. I'd like you to consider that this microbiome that's in soil is very much like the human mic microbiome. And if we compromise that human gut microbiome, then that has an effect obviously on our health. They're now saying that 100% of immunological disorders comes from having a compromised human gut microbiome. And what we mean by immunological disorders is anything to do with inflammation, anything to do with allergies, uh, many skin conditions, arthritis, many cancers are now being linked to this human gut microbiome. So the soil has a gut microbiome and we have blown this microbial bridge.